Kate walked back to where Maya was waiting. What did he say? Maya asked. Smiling, Kate said, He wanted me to watch my surroundings and to be careful, as though I wasn't going to do that from the beginning. Though Kate acted like she was annoyed by Peter's words, Maya knew that Kate appreciated his concern for her. This was shown by Kate lowering her visor to cover her face, which was likely blushing due to knowing what Maya thought of the exchange. Giggling, Maya said, Why don't we quickly gather up the vegetables and any herbs we spot so that we can come back so that your man doesn't get too concerned by your absence. Kate playfully shoved Maya to let Maya know what she thought of the teasing. The two of them headed out of the camp. As soon as her feet exited the designated perimeter, Maya felt a significant difference. I guess my instincts realized that I'm leaving behind the safety of numbers, Maya thought to herself. I can only imagine what it was like for James to go out hunting with just Mim, though the old adventurer is much stronger and more experienced. Kate and Maya were quiet as they moved further away from the camp. In her hand, Kate had a shield prepared to take on any threat that targeted them. The air was silent and colder, with the sun having set. There were no sounds of animals going about their nightly tasks of foraging or hunting. The lack of activity nearby only added to the level of unease that they'd been experiencing for the past several days. A part of Maya wanted to ask Kate what she thought. Still, at the same time, Maya was worried that they'd attract whatever was out in the forest that was keeping both animals and monsters away from them. I just need to focus on the task at hand, Maya chastised herself. If James went hunting with just Mim, then I can walk a little bit away from the camp. The others are still close enough that if I were to yell, they'd come running. She attempted to comfort herself, though she'd have preferred if James had come along with them. Maya looked at the spots where vegetables would grow. It didn't take too long before she recognized the flower for the wild carrots. Over here, Maya whispered to Kate. We have some carrots. There should be other vegetables close by. Kate merely nodded as she continued to scan the surroundings. Of the two, Maya had superior eyesight from training to attack from a long distance. At the same time, the visor that Kate had slightly restricted her vision. The two of them made their way to the nearby carrots that grew at the base of one of the trees. Though they didn't grow everywhere, Maya had learned from her own experiences and from reading the book that they obtained that many of the vegetables could be found growing at the base of the trees. The author didn't know why it was the case for the vegetables to grow close to the trees, especially since the trees would likely need a lot of nutrients, but this was typically the case. By learning more about the forest's vegetation, Mai had gotten better at spotting items to eat. She pulled out a small utility dagger from her waist, crouching down Mai used a knife to harvest the plants. This is probably all we'll need for the night, especially if it goes into a stew, Maya said as she kept gathering the vegetables from the ground.